Good morning and welcome to Saturday at the shop. It is the, is it the 11th? It is the 11th of December. Beck and I have just arrived at the shop. It is actually already past nine o'clock. That's why she's not looking um, super pleased. But the way I see it is, it's only a but couple minutes. We chose yeah. to walk down we, today. We, we walked down. Beck is festive again. Uh, lovely jumper there. <laughs> Um, yeah, we chose to walk down and honestly at this time in the morning. There's not much happening We're, we're a sleepy town guys. Honestly, Garstang takes its time um, To get going well, we sometimes um, some, We sometimes get the odd early bird in but most of the time I think we're, we're not gonna start seeing more people walking around till like half nine um, Afterwards, so uh, it's not really an, an issue uh, looking forward to today. I, I probably shouldn't but I have high hopes. As you can see, Beck is ready and getting the till up and running. I'm still, however, in my coat because I'm actually planning on nipping out and having a little look down the charity shops whilst it is quiet early in the morning. Uh, because firstly, we need some more wallpaper for packing material, but also just in the hope I might find some cool stuff to list uh, for eBay, which would be awesome as well. A little bit of a shop update for you guys. It's now about half past 11. Um, we've had quite a few customers pop in, have a look around. Unfortunately, we've got no more Pokemon cards, which has lost us a few sales, but we have had a really nice sale to start the day off with. So um, not too upset. Had a really lovely breakfast, a courtesy of Mrs. Malik there. Really appreciate it, Rebecca. Uh, it was it was a lovely uh, sandwich, toasted with melted cheese and a nice coffee. I'm still struggling to fully wake up though. I'm just I think I'm just I I'm really looking forward to having my day off tomorrow. I think that's all. We have had a couple of sales, we've had some customers in, so it's been a good day. Not as good as we would probably have liked it to be, but it is only one o'clock in the afternoon, so there's still plenty of time uh, for it to get busy. Um, and we do normally get a few sales between now and say four o'clock on a Saturday. Uh, so that could quite easily change. Um, one thing that was quite interesting was something that someone said to Rebecca, a customer said to Rebecca, um, and it was a case of a, something along the lines about coming in once the kids had gotten their cash for for, for Christmas. For Christmas. Because, yeah. Um, they were they were explaining that like um, grandparents and aunts normally yeah. give cash as a present rather than actually buying something. Yeah. So the, kids can get what they want yeah and we we actually had another customer as well who um actually came in and bought for themselves uh, today but are just going to be getting cash for christmas mm. because that's what they ask because they can just buy what they want so i uh, i've got a feeling that we were on the money when we thought actually we might see our busy period um shortly after yeah sure yeah more shortly after christmas when uh when the kids and the teens and um uh, people that are have been bought uh, like either you're just given cash as a gift because their family members just don't know what to shop for because you do get it quite often when people pop into the shop and want to buy for the, their friend, family or relative and, and, and they just... Especially if they have collections yeah. because a lot of them don't know what people have got in their collections. They, yeah. they might know a rough like, oh they collect like Marvel or DC but they won't ne necessarily know what each figure is one of the jobs that i've been getting away with not doing recently and rebecca here has been doing a lot is quite an important job because it quickly gets in the way of productivity and i'll show you what that is i've mentioned that we get a really nice supply of cardboard boxes from our neighbors at the pet shop and if you don't keep them organized cut down into a nice space they quickly start spilling everywhere and becoming a complete nuisance so i'm going to make sure that i just cut down all these extra boxes uh, that we have and just fit them in there so they're just out of the way so they're not a trip hazard um we've got a box there as well um it's lovely to have a supply of boxes but it's also important to keep them organized the other job that i always get away with is um i don't do the vacuuming very often and um, that's not changing about now either, is it, hun? No. <laughs> the cardboard has been compacted. I've left a couple of the more oddly shaped ones up, but I might actually flatten those as well. And um, we've got a bit of random polystyrene, but even stuff like this gets used for filler, for void filler. Um, so yeah, really happy. Got a nice selection here of cardboard for all our online and eBay orders. Right, I've just taken a moment to do some photography as well. Uh, we retook photos of good old spongebob here last time we took photos of him we didn't have his jellyfishing net so which we've come across that now so he's now with his jellyfish net and he's 
pretty much complete. It looks amazing. Really nice little figure. I took photos of him. Um, took a photo as well of this guy. This is another listing that just needs the photo changing. Maybe a description change, but I don't think it will. It's just different condition to what the previous uh, thing was. There you go. You can just see him. Little vintage gremlin figure of stripe. And we finally, much to Rebecca's disappointment, uh, we finally listed uh, singing and dancing Groot. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> yes, she's really upset about it. But I'm selling him, 315 to 30 to 40 pounds. Can't say no really, can we, honey? Oh, okay, maybe we can. <laughs> Right guys, it's now 8 o'clock. Rebecca has just finished cashing up the till. I have. Oh, done it. Oh, and she's done something wrong? What have you done? I forgot to take the cash out. She forgot to take the cash out, so... It's alright, I've got a key. She's going to have to get the key in, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, it's been quite a busy day, um, actually. It hasn't been quite as busy as we thought Saturday would be, but I think the weather's had a part to play in that, unfortunately. Uh, but overall, we've been pretty good. Um, I think we've done okay, not as great as I thought it would be. But still good. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with today to be quite honest. Yeah. I think overall the last couple of days it really has. The last couple of days was help. really, yeah. So, so overall, it's I'm carried really, on. Really happy. It's kind of carried on, hasn't it, within yeah. that kind of zone. And, and the, it's been really good the last couple of days, so we can't complain. Today's been really good as well. Um, we've been keeping really busy as well in the evening because obviously, even though we're open till 8, it hasn't really brought in the footfall that we were hoping it might bring in. Um, but then again, it's fine because we're keeping ourselves busy with a lot of stuff around the shop. So, uh, you know, work, a lot of work that would have needed to be done anyway is being yeah. done. Um, so can't really grumble with that. Uh, a lot of people having their Christmas parties today. We've seen some really yeah, funny yeah, costumes. Yeah, some um, some guy was in a box up. or something. <laughs> Literally, like he was. Oh, I didn't just, see okay. that one. I've seen yeah. Baywatch. You've seen Baywatch, yeah. and I think I've seen Jules from Pulp Fiction as well. Um, so it's been pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna now call it a night. Beck will be back with tomorrow's vlog. Yes. Um, so because obviously she's doing Sunday, I'm gonna try not to pop in, but I might pop in. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys.